Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this seventh day of March. And today's topic for the Baptist Bread is titled, Be a Beacon. Amen. And so before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And if he's not your Lord and Savior, well, today is the day to get saved and to trust him as your Lord and Savior, and he'll wash away all your sin. Amen. All right, we're going to start with today's scripture song, which is from Proverbs twenty-two seventeen. So I'll press play, and we'll sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. <clears throat> Proverbs twenty-two seventeen. Bow, Bow down thine ear, and, and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine, thine heart unto my knowledge. knowledge. Amen. Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. Bow down thy knee. Amen. <clears throat> and we should uh, do that. Praise the Lord. All right. Many uh, uh, good stuff in Proverbs. So, uh, amen. All right. We'll go ahead and do that again towards the end of the broadcast. But now it's time to get into today's topic for Monday, March 7th, titled Be a Beacon. And the passage is from Matthew 5, 16. It says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. And this is also a scripture song. Amen. It goes a little something like this. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light so shine let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light so shine. Amen. All right, so that is the scripture song from the passage. Amen. And today's author is GG. That would be the initials for Brother Guy Goodall. And... Where is he at? Uh, he's the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Hudson Falls, New York. Amen. So let me read you what he wrote here on this topic of be a beacon. All right. So he writes here, what does it take for a lighthouse to shine so consistently? How is that related to letting our light shine before men? First, location is important, right? A location is important, and we should be everywhere. <clears throat> Amen. Uh, be in a church that promotes shining in the darkness of your community. Your job, your neighborhood, and circle of friends need your light. Amen. The light that you shine forth with the gospel of Christ. Second, maintenance is important. Keep that structure in good shape. A rundown lighthouse is more of a danger than a help. Surely, or excuse me, study God's word. Talk to the Lord and interact with wise counselors. Good advice there. And then third, keep the oil in the reservoir. Older lighthouses relied on oil to fuel the lamp. He says, I like that. <laughs> Amen. Uh, keep the Holy Spirit in the forefront of your life. He is the oil that keeps your light burning. Uh, so that was the um, that was the hymn I was uh, thinking about when I saw this. Um, so um, um, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, um, but anyway, uh, so that's the third one. Uh, fourth, remember your primary responsibility. You and I are not a visitor center to be viewed by curious observers. We are a beacon to warn others in danger of crashing on the reefs of this world. Amen. Fifth, 
submit to the directives of the master of your lighthouse. Usually, usually a master would visit lighthouses for inspection, seeking to evaluate the points above. He was really in charge, and the beacon keeper was subject to his authority. Jesus is the true light, and he is qualified to make inspections of our lives and light. So he says, see John 1, 7 through 9, and then 8 through 12. Uh, so let's go to uh, John 1, 7 through 9 first. All right. Amen. Actually, I was thinking of uh, let the lower lights keep burning. So I have to do that one instead of the one I picked. So let's see here. So John 1, John 1. All right, so John chapter 1, and we'll read that. All right, so John chapter 1 and verses 7 through 9, and it says here, uh, John chapter 1, 7 through 9, it says, The same came for a witness to hear, excuse me, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Amen. And so that was 7 through 9. And then we have 8, 12. So let's go to John chapter 8 and verse 12. All right. John 8, 12. And read that passage. So 8, 12, it says, uh, G uh, Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Amen. And then um, John 9, 5. So John 9, 5 says, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Amen. And that's Jesus speaking there again. So praise the Lord. So let's be a beacon, a light to the world. Amen. All right. So that is the end of the um, Baptist Bread devotional, be a beacon. So let's be a beacon, a light to this world, and get the light of Jesus out there. Amen. And tell them about the true light, which is Jesus Christ. All right, so that is the end of that devotional. And now we'll go ahead and read you the um, one from the Boots on the Ground devotional, written by Randy Wells, Daily Devotions for the Christian Soldier. And this uh, title is Filling the Power Vacuum. And this takes place on March 7, 1936, in the passages from Ephesians 4, 22. It says that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. Ephesians 4, 22. And I encourage you to read that whole entire chapter. <clears throat> Amen. All right, so let me read you the account here. It says the uh, Rhineland is a strategic border region between France and Germany. Germany gained control of the region after the Franco-Prussian War of 1870-71, but lost it to France in the Versailles Treaty of World War I. From 1919 to 1930, unrest and conflict continued between the French and the Germans concerning the Rhineland. Uh, tired of the constant conflict, in 1930, France withdrew her troops from the region entirely, leaving a power vacuum. On 7 March 1936, Adolf Hitler filled that vacuum as he murdered three battalions of German troops in, uh, uh, excuse me, let me read that again. So Adolf Hitler uh, filled that vacuum as he marched three battalions of German troops into the Rhineland, the French and British did nothing to prevent this, nor did they attempt to oist the Germans from the Rhineland. Undoubtedly, Hitler saw their reaction as a sign of appeasement and weakness, which emboldened him to begin his drive toward world dominance, ultimately leading to World War II. In most cases, throughout history, a power vacuum does not take long to fill, because selfish leaders thrive on power a territory that has no political powers controlling it does not stay in a vacuum for long. Someone always takes control. <laughs> yeah, 
as Christians, we are called to replace our former sinful behaviors with righteous ones. Scripture doesn't merely command us to stop what is wrong. It tells us to begin what is right. Throughout the New Testament, we see the terminology put off, put on, right? So when we're putting something off, we are to put something else on. So not just putting it off and keeping it off, but uh, putting something else on. So putting off the old man and then putting on the new man and letting the new man work and uh, rule in you. Amen? You, uh, you see, he says, when a Christian puts off the old, he leaves a vacuum. If he, if we don't fill that vacuum with righteous behaviors, it leaves that territory open for the uh, re, re, uh, re, re-entry of wicked habits uh, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which is after God, uh, or excuse me, which after God, is created for, excuse me, created in righteousness and true holiness. Amen. Ephesians 4, 22 through 24. So let's put off the old man and put on that new man. Amen. That's the Holy Spirit. And not to grieve the Holy Spirit or quench him. Amen. <clears throat> All right. So that is the end of the boots on the ground topic. Amen. All right. So. Let me go ahead here and see if I can find this in the hymn book. See if it's here. If not, then I'll just go ahead and do the one I picked already. But let me see if I can find it in here. Uh, let the lower lights keep burning. Let's see if I can find it in here. Let the lower lights keep burning. Aha, here we go. 618. So 618. Oh, it's on... All right, here we go. Aha, here we go, right here. Let's see if I can find the instrumental version of this. Just give me one second. Let's see. Let's see here if I can find this. See how you smell that lights. Sorry about that. Here we go. I gotta get the instrumental. Alright, let's see if I can find a good one here. Do 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 do. Let's see about this one. Hold on a second. Let's see if this one sounds good. I want to see about this one. All right, trying to find a good one here. Oh, yeah, here we go. This sounds good. All right, we'll do this one. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, so this is uh, Let the Lower Lights Be Burning. Amen. And this is 618 in the Psalm, Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. Amen. And this is a spiritual song, The Witness of the Saint. And this was written by Philip P. Bliss, who lived from 1838 to 1876. Amen. Alright, so let me do this here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Start that. Brightly beams our Father's mercy from His lighthouse evermore. But to us He keeps the gives the keeping of love. Man, I apologize. I am. Not to, uh, don't sing this song very much, so I'm going to get it right, amen? <clears throat> Alright, here we go, let's try it again. Brightly beams our Father's mercy from His lighthouse evermore. But to us He gives the keeping of the lights along the shore. Let the lower lights be burning, send the gleam across the wave. Some poor fainting, struggling seamen, you may rescue, you may save. Dark the night of sin has settled, loud the angry billows roar. Eager eyes are watching, longing for the lights along the shore. Let the lower lights be burning, send a gleam across the waves. Some poor fainting, struggling seamen, you may rescue, you may save. Trim your feeble lamp, my brother, some poor sailor tempest-tossed, trying now to make the harbor, in the darkness may be lost. Let the lower lights be burning, send the gleam across the wave. Some poor fainting, struggling seamen, you may rescue, you may save. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Apologize about uh, messing up there. <clears throat> Alright, so let me go ahead and read you the story behind this uh, hymn here. Alright, so it says down here at the bottom of the page, first appearing in The Charm, the earliest of Bliss's collections in 1871, the message of these lines was inspired by an illustration oft uh, used by Dwight L. Moody in his evangelistic campaigns. As a musician for the campaign, Bliss authored and composed the song On a Dark Stormy Night When the Waves Rolled Like Mountains and Not a Star Was to Be Seen. A boat, rocking and plunging, uh, neared the Cleveland Harbor. Are you sure this is Cleveland? asked the captain, seeing only light from the lighthouse. Quite sure, sir, replied the pilot. Where are the lower lights? Gone out, sir. Can you make the harbor? We must, or perish, sir. With a strong hand and a brave heart, the old pilot turned the wheel. But alas, in the darkness he missed the channel, and with a crash upon the rocks, the boat was slivered, and many a life lost in a watery grave. Brethren, concluded Mr. Moody, the master will take care of the great lighthouse. Let us keep the lower lights burning. Amen. Good uh, little story there. Praise the Lord. All right, and let me go ahead and give you the references to the... Uh, stanzas here, so stanza 1 is John 8.12, and then Acts 26.18, stanza 2 is 1 Thessalonians 5.5, 5, and Romans 13.12, and then stanza 3 is Luke 18, or excuse me, 8.16, Luke 8.16, and then Acts 17.27, and then the uh, refrain is Ephesians 5.8, and Acts 13.47, amen, praise the Lord. All right, so that is Let the Lower Lights Be Burning. Amen. And the one I was originally going to do was uh, titled Throw Out the Lifeline. So perhaps I'll do that one tomorrow. And then also I was thinking about Rescue the Perishing. 
another good one. So maybe I'll do that one the next day. So have a few uh, picked out here. So amen. So again, that was Let the Lower Lights Be Burning in uh, page 618 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. Praise the Lord. All right. Thought I'd do that one since it kind of went along with the one uh, devotional by Guy Goodall. Amen. <clears throat> All right. Now we'll go ahead and sing some scripture songs before we wrap it up for today. All right. We'll do yesterday's and then conclude with today's. <clears throat> Jeremiah 31, 3. The Lord, the Lord hath appeared of old unto, unto me, saying, Yea, I, I have, have loved, loved thee with an everlasting love. love. Therefore, with loving, loving kindness, kindness have I, I drawn thee. thee. Amen. Here we go. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, with an everlasting love, with an everlasting love. Love. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, with an everlasting love, with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, therefore, with loving kindness, have I drawn thee. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. With an everlasting love, with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, therefore, with loving kindness, have I drawn thee. Therefore, with loving kindness, therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Amen. All right, now we'll conclude with today's. Proverbs 22, 17. Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. Amen. Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise And apply thine heart unto my knowledge Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise And apply thine heart unto my knowledge Bow down Thine ear. Amen. All right. Well, that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song and then the topics for the Baptist bread and boots on the ground devotionals. So tomorrow is the eighth, and we'll be singing Philippians four nineteen. And it says, "But my God shall supply." All your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. So that'll be tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's Baptist bread topic will be titled, The Seeds Were There. The Seeds Were There. And the passage is from Genesis 41, 35. Amen. And then tomorrow's author is Brother Tim Green from Revival in Our Times, Day Heights, Ohio. Amen. So that's the ba Baptist bread topic and then the boots on the ground devotional is titled not your typical weapons and this event takes place on march 8 1966 and the passage is from psalm 20 verse 7 amen and then uh do one of those uh hymns that i was telling you about uh today either rescue the perishing or oh man i forget the other one already um but uh, we'll do one of those amen so uh 
Praise the Lord. If you'd like to get a copy of uh, the Scripture Songs book and the CDs, they're available on Brother Dean and Sister Patty's website at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. And that's their missionary webpage, um, um, mission webpage, where there are missionaries to Port Kaituma, Guyana. So pray for them and pray for all missionaries around the world. And, uh, and you too can be a bold witness in your own backyard if you just, uh, have a desire to go out there and tell somebody about Jesus. There's lots of ways to do it. You can go out and hold a gospel sign, uh, pass out tracts somewhere, uh, go to a store or out to where there's, uh, people walking around and, uh, go hand out some tracts and go, uh, witness to people. Amen. And door knocking, all that good stuff and many ways to do it. But let's go out there and, Get the gospel out and be a beacon, a light to this world in this dark, dark world. Amen. So let's be that light and tell somebody that Jesus saves. Amen. All right. So that's that information. And then for the Baptist bread, this is the cover here. It's got a donkey on the front. And then it's got the passage from Zechariah 9.9. And you can get this uh, online at www.baptistbread.com or www.timgreenministries.org. And it comes in a box of 10, and you can keep one for yourself and pass out others to uh, whoever you'd like to. Amen. And then the Boots on the Ground devotional book is available online or perhaps at your local bookstore. And then the hymn book here, the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book, is available on MelodyPublications.com. Amen. And if you'd like uh, listening to audio books, uh, Did the Hiding Place by Corey Temboom. And also uh, working on uh, reading through the Return of the Hiding Place book by Hans Poulet. So go check those out on my podcast at God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast. Available on Anchor or Spotify or iHeartRadio are the platforms that it is up on to listen to. So if you like audiobooks, a uh, good way to listen to these two uh, books here. And I'm, off, I'm on chapter... 11, I think, right now on The Return of the Hiding Place. There's 16 chapters, so working through that book. And then not sure what book I'll do after that. So check out uh, that podcast. And uh, if you're um, watching on Facebook and you know somebody that doesn't have Facebook and they would like to listen to the Baptist Bread uh, devotional broadcast, you can direct them to the YouTube page. They can type in um, Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting or uh, Baptist Bread, type in that uh, keyword and they can look me up there and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on that uh, platform. Amen. So praise the Lord for these different ways to get the um, these devotionals out and to be an encouragement uh, to others. So hope and pray that these devotions uh, help you and keep you going. Amen. All right. So that'll be it for today's broadcast. So thanks for watching. May the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye for now.